to another video in my The Truth Behind the Glow Up series. This is a series I have started on my channel where we delve into the truth behind the glow ups of the most famous influencers, the most famous celebrities, the girls that everyone puts on a pedestal as being so perfect. We are delving into their background, unearthing never before seen pictures and discovering that they are in fact just regular, real human beings. Same as you and me at the end of the day. In case you guys haven't seen the last two videos in this series, we've done the beautiful Bella Hadid and Hayley Baldwin. And in this video, we are doing the truth behind the glow up of Kendall Jenner. Disclaimer because internet, these videos are not made to expose or shame people we're talking about. I just don't want you guys to compare your real selves to 50 thousand dollars worth of surgery and tweakments. So who is Kendall Jenner? Kendall Jenner is the daughter of Kris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner. Kendall Jenner is the sister of Kim Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner and she has always been referred to as the natural sister. We are going to discover if that is in fact the case. Now let's take a quick look at teenage Kendall Jenner versus what Kendall looks like now. As you can see there are a lot of similarities like she doesn't have a whole new face but there are also quite a few structural differences too. Differences that I struggle to believe are purely from growing up. Now, everything I say in this video is only alleged. I don't have any proof that Kendall has ever undergone any kind of tweakment. This is all just my opinion. And through watching this video, you guys can come to your own conclusion as well and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, obviously Kendall is gonna look different now at the age of 25 than what she did when she burst onto our TV screens in the Keeping Up With Kardashians TV show when she was 13. So one thing I really like to do, mostly because I'm a bit of a nerd and I'm super interested in family genealogy and things like that, is I like to look at people's family members and kind of see where they got certain characteristics and certain features. So I went back through Kendall's family and I discovered that Kendall has a lot of similarities with her grandmother, Mary Jo. So Mary Jo is actually Kris Jenner's mother. And as you can see in these pictures, they're not twins or anything like that, but there are similarities in that they both have that heavy brow and slightly hooded lids. Then if you fly on over to Caitlyn Jenner's mum, Kendall's paternal grandmother, you can see that they have a similar nose shape. I also think that Kendall gets her arm and shaped eyes from her dad. So let's take a look at Kendall's glow up. So the main difference that I have noticed in Kendall's appearance is that her brow, the heaviness of her brow and her eye shape in general has changed dramatically. As you can see in these pictures of a younger Kendall, she had a really defined heavy brow. So her brow kind of sat really low over her eyes like this. And although she still had that arm and shaped eye, her eyes were definitely more hooded than they are today. Now, like I've said in my previous videos, as you age, you can actually lose a lot of that hooded eye if the hood of the eye is because you are young and you've got puppy fat and you've got a lot of fat deposits behind the eyelid causing that hooded lid. As you age and your face loses weight, you can sometimes lose that hooded eye until you're a mature woman and then sometimes you get your hooded eyes back. I personally don't think that is what has happened with Kendall. When you look at these pictures of Kendall from when she was younger compared to now, I don't think that it is possible for your brows to start off really low and heavy and then raise themselves over time. I would wonder whether Kendall had a brow lift and or the foxy eye lift. So the way a brow lift works is that your surgeon makes a long incision across the forehead, either along the hairline or in one of the creases of the forehead. Now obviously Kendall's really young so she doesn't have any noticeable creases in the forehead so I would assume if she has had this done that she would have had it in the hairline and what the surgeon will do then is they will lift the skin away from the underlying tissues remove the excess skin and then stitch the forehead and the brow into its new position and then obviously the result is that your eyebrows are going to sit way higher on your forehead than what they would have done originally but I also think that her eye shape in general has changed so when you look at Kendall's outer brow and eye area you'll see that where it used to kind of droop down like that as most people's brows and eyes do now her eye and brow area is pulled really really tautly like this, which leads me to wonder, did Kendall also have the foxy eye lift? So the way the foxy eye lift works is that a surgeon will make small incisions on the outer corners of your eyes and then stretch them out and sew them back into place to give you that lifted cat-like eye effect. Now Kendall, like a lot of other celebrities and influencers, staunchly denies ever touching her face or ever getting any tweakments or any work done to her appearance at all. So when Kendall was asked whether she had ever had plastic surgery or tweakments, she said, it's all so exhausting. As a model, why would I have my face reconstructed? It doesn't even make sense. 
It's crazy because sometimes I feel like people just want me to lose. Now I'm an empath so I gotta admit I do have some sympathy for Kendall if in fact she hasn't had anything done to her face and her appearance has just changed because she's grown up because it would be annoying then to have loads of people claiming that you have totally changed your appearance when you haven't. So let's take a look at Kendall's nose. As you can see in these younger pictures of Kendall her nose had a pretty prominent wide bridge and from side on you can see that she didn't have that kind of ski slope button nose that is so popular with celebrities and influencers nowadays. Her nose kind of slopes downwards and I'm not hating my nose is exactly the same guys like it's a normal nose shape <laughs> I personally don't see anything wrong with Kendall's nose and I think that it fit her face beautifully however when you look at more recent photos of Kendall you can tell that it's still the same nose but it does look as though it may have been refined subtly so it looks as though she may have slimmed down the bridge of her nose subtly her nose no longer looks to have that prominently wide bridge and from the side her nose no longer slopes downwards it kind of looks more like a button nose now the likely explanation is that Kendall may have had surgical rhinoplasty, like a nose job. This is where they will go in and shave down the cartilage of the nose to make the bridge appear thinner and to give you that ski slope button nose. And considering that Kendall has grown up in the spotlight in a famous family who would have all of Hollywood's best plastic surgeons on speed dial and the money to pay for it, that is a likely explanation. Although she may have also had what's known as a non-surgical nose job. I have tried this in the past. It doesn't last very long, especially if you have a fast metabolism, but when done right, it can change the look of your nose. So what they do there is that they will inject filler along the bridge of the nose and they'll put more in the tip. So although technically they're actually making your nose bigger, from the side your nose profile will look different and from front on it may actually give you an optical illusion and make your nose look thinner. Now the last thing that I think Kendall may have tweaked is her lips. When you look back at old pictures of Kendall, yes she had quite a full lower lip but her top lip, like her sister Kylie, was not particularly big at all. And as you can see, especially when she would smile, her top lip would kind of stretch out and curl under so you couldn't really see it. Whereas nowadays, as you can see, Kendall's lips are very pouty, very full, including her top lip. And the real test is when she smiles, you can see that her top lip no longer stretches out and kind of curls under. It is still there, it is still full, it is still pouty, it's still very visible. Now Kendall, just like her sister Kylie, at the start denies ever having lip filler. She's on record as saying that basically her sister Kylie overdrew her lips and she went out and got papped and then it started the rumor that she's had lip fillers but she says she hasn't. So this video is already pretty long guys. There is more that I could delve into with Kendall's appearance but I don't want to be too nitpicky. I don't want to scrutinize her too much. So I'm going to leave this video here and let you guys come to your own conclusions. Do you think that Kendall's glow up is nothing more than a grow up or do you think that Kendall may have had a few tweakments here or there? Let me know in the comments down below what you think and remember never ever ever compare your beautiful real unique self to these celebrities or influencers that you see on social media because as you can see in real life none of them actually look the way they portray themselves to on social media and although a lot of them look perfect by today's standards on social media they didn't naturally start off looking that way they are just human beings the same as you and me they poop they fart they have bo they have hairy legs and it's fine <laughs> it's normal it's natural it's beautiful love you guys guys bye